Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to the 800 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in English. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is laugh. 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 So laugh can be used as either a noun or as a verb. So we use this when we find something funny. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. Delicious. 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 So delicious is a word we use when we think something tastes good. We can use this for food or drinks. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Water. 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 So water is just the word we use for the thing we drink, the most basic thing to drink. Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Tea. 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 So tea is another very popular drink. You can have it cold or hot. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Coffee. 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 Coffee is yet another very popular drink. Uh, we usually have this in the morning. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Beer. 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 So beer, yet another very popular drink for adults. We usually enjoy beer after work. Cold beer. Cold beer. Cold beer. Wine. 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 So wine is something that we tend to enjoy with kind of special occasions or we like to pair it with foods. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Beef. 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 So beef refers to meat that comes from a cow. This can mean anything that comes from a cow. Beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Chicken. 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 So chicken refers to the animal, but also the meat. When you want to talk about one like of the animal, you can say a chicken. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Pork. 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 So pork is another very popular meat. We often have it at breakfast as bacon or maybe in the evening as like a pork chop. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. 
fish, fish, fish. So fish is anything that comes from the ocean, anything that comes from the ocean or from other bodies of water. Chicken or fish, chicken or fish, chicken or fish. Lamb, lamb, lamb. So lamb refers to meat that comes from a baby sheep. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Doctor. 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 So a doctor is a person who helps other people with their health. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, Go to the doctor. Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. So a police officer is someone in a city that helps other people when they are in trouble. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. Teacher, teacher, teacher. So a teacher is someone who shares information, who helps students or other people to learn something. English teacher, English teacher, English teacher. Employee, employee, employee. An employee is someone who works at a company or someone who works for someone else. Female employee. Female employee. Female employee. Come. 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 So we use the verb come to mean to move from one location to the place where we are now. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. See. 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 So we use the verb see to mean to use our eyes to focus on something. The tourist saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. Make. 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 We use the verb make when we talk about creating something. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. Use, use, use. So we use the verb use when we want to talk about like applying something or we want to talk about、uh, utilizing something for something else. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Goodbye. Today. Today, today, today means this day. We use this when we want to talk about something that's happening on this day, like part of a schedule. Today's homework. Today's homework. Today's homework. Yesterday. 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 
So yesterday means the day before today. So you can use this word when you're talking about like past actions. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Tomorrow. 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 So tomorrow is like the opposite of yesterday. It means the day after today. So we use this when we're talking about our future plans. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Week. 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 So week refers to seven days. That seven day period. So we use week when we want to talk about making plans or our schedules and so on. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. Year. 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 So a year is 365 days. So we use year when we're talking about points in time, like historical events. One year. One year. One year. Second. 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 So second refers to a very short period of time. So the amount of time that's inside one minute, for example, there are 60 seconds in a minute. There are 60 seconds in a minute. There are 60 seconds in a minute. 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 Min-ut. So minute refers to, again, a period of time. We learned that there are 60 seconds in a minute, and we can use minutes when we're talking about times of day. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Hour. 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 So an hour refers to one of those 24 blocks of time throughout the day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. Clock. 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 A clock is an object that we use to understand what time of day it is. We can have analog or digital. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. So a clock is used after a number from 1 to 12 to show that it's a specific hour. Let's meet at the station at 9 o'clock. Let's meet at the station at 9 o'clock. Let's meet at the station at 9 o'clock. Calendar. 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 So a calendar is something we use to understand the dates of the year. There are 12 months on a typical calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Monday. 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 So Monday is, for most people, the first day of the work week. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday is, for most people, the second day of the work week. Tuesday, January 1st. Tuesday, January 1st. Tuesday, January 1st. Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Wednesday. So Wednesday is the middle day of the week, but keep in mind this is pronounced Wednesday. There's a D there, but we don't say Wednesday. We say Wednesday. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. Thursday. 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 So Thursday is the fourth day of the work week, the day that comes before Friday. So most people get a little bit excited for Friday, and thus Thursday is kind of the day when some people start their weekends a little bit early. Thursday, January third. Thursday, January third. Thursday, January third. Friday. 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 So Friday is the last day of the work week, and lots of people get excited about Friday, and they do things on Friday nights with their friends or their coworkers. Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Saturday. 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 So Saturday is the first day of the weekend. Lots of people choose to do things like their hobbies or maybe take a trip somewhere. It's a day to relax for lots of people. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Sunday. 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 So Sunday is the last day of the weekend. Usually, Sunday tends to be a more relaxing day. So we're kind of recharging a little bit and taking it easy. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Do. 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 So do is used when we're referring to some kind of activity. We're making something happen. We are taking care of something. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Go. 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 So the verb go means to move from one place to another place. We use this when we're traveling, or maybe even when we're talking about some place we would like to go or like to travel to. Go to the park. Go to the park. Go to the park. Hello. 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 Hello is the most basic greeting that you can use. You can use it with your friends, with your family members, with your coworkers. Any time of day is fine. Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, excuse me is the expression you can use when you bump into somebody or when you need to interrupt somebody who's working on something. It's a nice, like, apology expression to use. Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we use "I'm sorry" in cases where we make a mistake. So I did something wrong or I did something bad. I use "I'm sorry" to apologize. I'm sorry. It was a typo. I'm sorry. It was a typo. I'm sorry. It was a typo. Good night. Good night. Good night. So good night is the expression we use at the end of the day when we want to say goodbye to someone or when we want to wish our family members a good night of sleep. Good night, grandma. Good night, grandma. Good night, grandma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
Nice to meet you. So, nice to meet you is the expression we use the first time we meet someone. We don't use this like the second or the third time we see someone, only for the first time. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? How are you? So, how are you is used as a very general greeting. When we see our coworker for the first time or we see a classmate for the first time, we ask, How are you? Meaning, what's your condition right now? It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? Yes. 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 So, yes is the word we use to agree with something or to show we think something is good or correct. You can use yes、uh, in any of those cases. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. No. 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 So, no is the opposite of yes. We use it when we want to disagree or show that we think something is not good or is maybe not the best option. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you is used to express your appreciation for something. You can use this after you receive a gift or someone does something for you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm. 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 So, I'm is the reduced form of I and am. It becomes I'm. Make sure to clearly pronounce that m、mm、sound, like when you're introducing yourself. I'm John. I'm John. I'm John. Goodbye. 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 So, goodbye is one way to say, like, something at the end of the day, usually, to say bye to someone. Goodbye sounds a little bit more formal than just bye, but you can use it to sound polite. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Bad. 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 Okay, so bad is a word that means not good. You can use it to describe something you don't like or that you think is inappropriate. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Good. 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 So, good is the opposite of bad. You can use it when you want to express that you like something or that you think something is positive. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. Pretty. 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 So, pretty is used to describe someone or something's physical appearance, something that we think is beautiful. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have. A pretty girlfriend. Ugly. 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 So, ugly is the opposite of pretty. We use this word to describe something that we think is not pleasing or is unpleasant. Ugly face. Ugly face. Ugly face. Easy. 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 So, easy is used to talk about something that is not difficult. It's maybe something that's simple to do. Easy exam. 
Easy exam. Easy exam. Difficult. 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 So difficult, describe something that is hard or something that is challenging to do. Difficult problem. Difficult problem. Difficult problem. Near. 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 Near is used to talk about something that is close to us. It's something that we can go to quickly and easily. I live near the university. I live near the university. I live near the university. Far. 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 So far is the opposite of near. Far means something that is at great distance from something else. There's like a long way to get to something. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. Small. 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 So small is the opposite of big. We use it to describe things that are little. You can use it for concepts, for objects, or for people. Small mistake. Small mistake. Small mistake. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Bye-bye!